Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition where we have just arrived at Skyhold and we are gonna oh I think the things are blank are they I think they are um but we're gonna start talking to people send men to scout the area we need to know what's out there yes sir commander soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters very good I'll need an update on the armory as well what now I don't know why a guy would just stand there. We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for it's an archdemon fault. or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have. Uh, it was a bad situation. We were all shaken by what happened. If Corypheus strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but it's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Inquisitor Lavellan. Sounds odd, don't you think? Not at all. Is that the official <laughs> response? <laughs> I suppose it is. But it's the truth. We needed a leader. And you have proven yourself. You responded quickly to the attack on Haven. Without that, so many more would have died. I'm grateful for any help you can give. Thank you, Inquisitor. I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word. Perfect. I like Cullen. I feel like, I mean, again, he's one of the base. He's like a, you know, like I couldn't, couldn't do this without him, you know? Cool. We got, right, because I'm probably really interested in finding Cole because he just saved me. <laughs> this thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Uh, she would, actually. Inquisitor. I wondered if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer, although the truth is somewhat more complex. Mm. Cole helped me escape the Envy Demon. I already agreed to let him stay. That was before we knew what it was. Honoring deals with demons is a swift path to an early grave. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solas. Solas. What are we dealing with? What is Cole doing? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre, monstrous. But Cole looks like a young man. Could it be possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. Oh, okay. What do you mean by possession? Spirits and demons cross over from the Fade by attaching He's themselves not there to anymore. something in this world. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form without possessing anyone. Did he, he like manifested in my brain? The demons who came through the breach or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. True. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. I will talk with him. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? He was right. I have a special bond with Cole because he saved my life. Haven. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. I can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot. White pain. 
everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to. I'm dying. I, this I'm would be weird to hear. Dead. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yeah. Yes, but here is where I can help. Every breath slower, like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain, dry, scraping, thirsty. Cole, I feel like Cole himself is feeling pain yeah. on top. Like he's feeling their pain, but he's also feeling pain for them. It's all right. She won't remember me. You're using your powers as a spirit to help people. Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't That's know. That's so weird. I made mistakes, but I made friends, too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. Stay. Of course Cole will stay. If you're willing, the Inquisition could use your help. Yes. Helping. I help the hurt. The helpless. There's someone. Hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. The healers have done all they can. It will take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. Ooh, oh, good. No, I don't think, I don't, Talon is not ruthless, you know? He's brisk and to the point, but he's a survivor too. And then I think, you know, anybody would, most anybody would rather, if given the chance, they would like, you know, they would like to have a chance to fight. You say he won't die for hours yet, but you can't know that for certain. His body you is You are not failing. a god, Cole. He could recover. Or the healers could find another way to help him. How do you know? I don't. I don't. <laughs> And neither do you. That's part of life. Indeed. Try. Hmm. I want to stay. And I want you to stay. Alright. 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 Woo! Colin, don't hurt yourself. Cole, Cole's still here. Cole, are you alright, Cole? He hates it all because of the darkness behind the door. Some doors should stay shut. Good. I'd like to talk about what happened to you before we met. Yeah. Before you, Reese was my friend. He showed me I was wrong to kill the mages. I thought I was helping them. Then he and Evangeline went to Adamant, and I went with them. I was worried Evangeline would hurt Reese. We found out dangerous things. It scared Seeker Lambert, and he scared the mages started the rebellion. I need to read Seeker that story. Lambert told me what I was. Reese couldn't look at me. I ran until I found more Templars. That's all. Why look for Templars? What can you tell me about Adamant Fortress? It is old, full of sadness. Uh, isn't pain. that It should be torn Where down. we go later? The veil is we found a demon there. It had touched a man and made him real again. It scared Reese and Evangeline. The man wasn't supposed to be real. 
Then the demon found us. It put me back in the cupboard on the bad day. Reese and Evangeline saved me. Hmm. What can you tell me about Reese? He was a mage. He saw me when I'm pretty sure this is a book. And he I think someone told me it was a book once. He helped me, and I watched over him. I worried Evangeline would hurt him. She was a Templar, but she didn't like hurting people. When I left, she stayed. Now she watches over him. They should have been with the rebels. Maybe they ran away together instead. Neither of them like killing. If you like, I could use the resources of the Inquisition to locate Such as they are. No. If they are alive and safe, they should stay away. The last time he saw me, he didn't want to look Give at Give him me. a chance. He saw a monster. Let him forget. Give him a chance. You said Seeker Lambert told you what you were. I'm hiding Reese from him, but he chants words and seeds. I won't let you hurt Reese. My nose explodes, a shower of blood. Just another parasite that's wormed its way into our world, feeding off all the things you can't have. What we found at Adamant made him angry. We were the first rock rolling at the top of a mountain. He had to stop us. He killed so many. He didn't care. Cold, corrupt. So I came and killed him. Hmm. Right, he was okay. Hmm. Is Adamant where we go with, with Cassandra? Or is that where we go to eventually see the wardens? Um. You know, he kind of reminds me of in little moments. He reminds me of Thane Krius from uh, Mass Effect. If you hated Seeker Lambert, why go to the Just Seeker in like Fortress? the flashbacks. Because he was right. I was a demon. I saw demons at Adamant. They put people in the dark, in the old hurts. I didn't want to be that. I heard the old songs of the Templars at Val Royale and followed them. Oh! So I forgot, fought, fell to felling. Templars would kill the demon. I wouldn't hurt anyone. Right, okay. What was the spire like when the Mage Rebellion started? That, okay, I see Definitely now. Right. Like, for him being there. Nadine. Some wanted freedom, some peace, some war. Some wanted it all to stop. Evangeline was a Templar, but she helped Reese help the others. She set them free. Adrian was a mage, but she killed mages to force the fight. She wanted blood. Reese just wanted to help, to stop people hurting. Maybe that's why he saw me. Hmm. What did you mean when you said you killed mages? Some of the mages of the Spire wanted to die. Too sad, too scared, too much. I didn't know what I was. A ghost, I thought. Fading in the fade. When I came to them, they could see me. I used the knife to set them free. When Reese found out, he made me stop. Made me understand. There were other ways. This is a delicate situation. <laughs> uh, with him. I think on this, like, I just tried to be like, no, it was okay, but he doesn't like that. He still thinks he's in the wrong, but... Sounds like you didn't know what you were doing. No, I killed people. I knew. I just thought you I You still had didn't to. really know what you were they doing. Were hurting, helpless, I mean, haunted. sort of. It was all I could yeah. do. Yeah. It was wrong. I was wrong. If I start again, you or Cassandra or Cullen need to kill me. So it's funny that... I mean, I guess Cassandra and Cullen are the ones who are for sure with you no matter what. So, but... I mean, those appear to him to be the strongest I'll people. I'll talk to you later. Probably. Because you could have Bull, or you, well, you could have Bull, or you could have Blackwall. I mean, they're, they're very strong too, but I guess... Cullen is a former Templar and Cassandra... Oh, hey, you're still alive. Thanks for my life in Haven. You've all sorts serving now. If that means change, I'll be it. Um, I'm gonna go try and find Dorian really quick. They wandered around too much when it's uh, still in the works, you know? When we're still kind of 
so Liz, I... What was this place? So much room for whatever was here. Hold on, I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to read that. No paintings yet. There is a thing up here, though. Don't mind me, Solace. I'm just going to uh, just gonna go up here and read this. Hmm. The person who covered the title with Mr. Solace, forgive me, no, it's not titled the, within the structure. Hmm. From the mural, all he would say is Sky holds is his fortress, meaning, of course, the Inquisitor. These are his actions. He is, of course, correct. The subject of each edition is self evident. So maybe I shouldn't be reading this quite yet because there's nothing here yet, but if, like as it goes, okay. So is this the rotunda? Right where we are right now. And so first, I, this is why I didn't understand is because I mean, when I read this the first time, there was nothing here. So I was kind of confused. And the measured nature of their step. Hmm. Archivist Bannon. Dorian. 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 Brilliant, isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? <laughs> no, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush He's off so any fucking ant hills. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. <laughs> Can't be helped. I suppose a proper introduction is called for, now that we're not running for our lives. Dorian of House Parvis, most recently of the... You were very Empire. dramatic on your entrance. I was at Redcliffe when the Venatori assumed command of your southern mages. I only wish I could have given more warning. Um, let's investigate. You're a magister. I know the response to that one. Then you're a magister. <laughs> uh, I know it's all the same to southerners, but no, I'm not. Hmm. All members of the magisterium, and thus all magisters, are mages. But not all mages are part Indeed. of the magisterium. Not to imply I'm just any mage, of course, but let's not start with incorrect assumptions. <laughs> You mentioned these Venatori when you arrived. They're a cult. The Venatori are fools. So desperate to restore the Imperium's glory days, they'd sacrifice our nation's soul. They made an offer to your mage rebels to join forces. But I'd bet they didn't leave the outcome to chance. The result is the army you saw at Haven. This elder one has more magic Them than having you can shake time a stick. magic is really Oh! That before that wasn't a heart thingy, that was a that was one of these. Okay. Um. Uh. I don't necessarily want to start out being all mushy gushy, but we'll. I don't know what this. I'm not really sure what this one does, so we'll see. What you did for us at Haven was very brave. It was. <laughs> Throwing in my lot with the underdog. That's me. <laughs> I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a Magister. But this is something else completely. In tales of Magisters starting the Blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very Magisters. A dark spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the Blight? You know how it is. Not, Not us. us. They say dark spawn were always there. Magisters and the Blight aren't even related. Hmm. Is that a surprise? Nice. No one wants to admit they shit No, the indeed. But if Corypheus is one of the Magisters who entered the Black City and he's Dark Spawn... How, how have we determined that he's, uh... How have we determined that he's Dark Spawn? I don't really... He didn't really look like a Dark Spawn to me, but I don't know. I don't know if that... If that's... What dark spawn look like? We only know what Corypheus claims to be. True, he might be a convincing liar, or delusional, or, or all of those things. 
But how many delusional maniacs are going to have that knowledge? He broke open the Fade. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it, somewhere. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. Now... You didn't do anything. Those men did. A thousand years ago. True. Except that one of them is up and walking around But it right wasn't now. you! Not to mention I have idiot countrymen who would happily follow him down that Dorian path is again. Just I have no so intention hard. of letting Corypheus win. Not without someone from Tabinta standing against him. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to stay and help the Inquisition. Alright. Um... I don't... Those don't seem like good. Like, I don't like those questions. I don't think I, I don't even think I asked those questions before because what he said already has convinced me enough. It is nice to just try and do as many conversation options as possible, but at the same time, I don't... I don't know. Uh, maybe we should ask... Because we're fighting... I mean, it just depends. Like, you know, everybody fights their own people, you know? Like, I don't know. I guess the elves... But, you know, the elves just put down the middle. Like, they don't like city elves, and, you know, Dalish don't like city elves. City elves don't really like the Dalish, you know? What if this is a ruse? The Venatori could have captured you, sent you here. Rather elaborate. Considering they'd need to have assumed you'd escape Haven. But I am the ideal spy. Yeah. Charming, yeah. clever, perfect teeth and hair. It all fits. How about this? Let me help, and you can hang me later, if you wish. I look good in this. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was good! Oh man! Wow! Don't give talent ideas. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm glad I did that. Because I don't like talent is not going to be like, you know, we're not going to be like, yeah, just come on in, you know? I feel like a little bit of like, uh, maybe, because. Alan doesn't just like, you know, ooh, I love people, you know, like, he's, it takes him a while to get used to people. But he's honest. We can use all the help we can get. No one will thank me, whatever happens. No one will thank you, either. You know that, yes? Uh... No one likes a pessimist. Uh, I don't wanna, eh, uh, I don't know. I haven't saved in a while. <laughs> that just that tends to be kind of rude, but we'll see. I don't know. That's not why I'm doing ah. this. I knew there was something Ooh. about you. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Dramatic walk-off. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading. Ah, the thank you, thank thing, you. By the way. <laughs> I'm like, I think I smile. Did I smile? Oh, thank you, you know, yeah, you're so cute. Oh, talent's so cute. Oh, I wish I did not have to wear these stupid pajamas. And I don't. Ugh. Roderick, that Chantry fellow who led us through the mountain from Haven. You know he died, I assume. Got us as far as the camp, and then that was it. I am surprised he helped. I'm shocked he helped us instead of running off. I imagine being attacked by something undeniably evil changes it's one's true. perspective a bit. I helped him walk. He talked That's about. That's very kind of you, bit. Dorian. He just needed to be sure you were on Draste's chosen. He was terrified of what it meant. Yeah. For true. But in the end, he believed. He asked me to tell you he was sorry. Thank you. Thank you for telling me about that. I thought it was important. Anyway, we can talk about something else if you Woo! Uh, why are you in Redcliffe? I'm curious why you were in Redcliffe in the first place. Looking up an old mentor of mine. A magistrate. They still have the time magic. Princess. Good fellow. Always are we going to fight him? him? Then one day. He asks me to oh. join the Venatori. I don't know what he was thinking. 
He knew I wanted to change to Vinter, not regress it into prehistoric madness. The Venatorian uh. once he stopped being useful. Oh! So he's dead. I'm kind of wondering, I'm curious as to what happened to Samson. Like, are we, like, what's Cullen's quest going to be, you know? Like, his whole thing was centered on the Red Templars last time. Okay. Seems odd he would get involved with the Venatori at all. That's what I thought. I'd hoped to persuade him to leave Redcliffe. I suppose he had his reasons. People will do odd things when they're strung over a barrel. Either that, or I didn't really know Alexis He did it for his son! It occurs to me that I barely know anything about you. Beyond my being a maid. Yes, who? Beyond that, <laughs> yes. And beyond my being so charming and well-dressed, which is obvious um, to anyone. Uh, I don't want to be mushy-gushy, but I don't know how much I'm supposed to do that. I feel like, I mean, this would be his, you know, thing, is he'd be like, you know, okay, I guess, you know, like, sure thing. Like, he's very stoic, you know? Uh... Oh. You certainly think highly of yourself. It's true. I could be more modest. <laughs> be now, what was I talking about? Ah, yes. <laughs> I am the scion of House Parvis, a product of generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Naturally, I despise it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. So odd that he turned out the way That's he did. Winter, in a nutshell, isn't it? Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. Maybe it's because he is, like, he likes men and that's apparently not okay in Tevinter, like... He just had this, like, different mindset from the get-go. Because otherwise, I'm like, how in the world did he become the way he is? Alright, since I had to start over, I'm gonna test this out and see... I'm not sure exactly what is said, so we're gonna see it. I'm well aware of your finer qualities, believe me. <laughs> The moment I saw you, I thought, there's a man who knows quality. Now, what was I talking about? Ah, yes, me. I am the scion of uh, House Palmas. Okay, we'll let it stand. Generations of careful breeding and the repository of its hopes and dreams. Naturally, I despised it all. The lies, the scheming, the illusions of supremacy. Of course. That's to Vinter in a nutshell. Blah, 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 yes. Needless to say, my family was not happy with my choices. Okay, I did get interrupted earlier. Um, sorry about that. Uh, happens. Um, but so I had to kind of, I had to go back. Just, it luckily I auto saved like right before I started my second conversation with Dorian. So that's why I was able to go back. He didn't sound too gushy, so that's good. But we'll let it stand. It's like, it's whatever, you know. Um, but, okay. Why would your family be upset with your choices? Because I rejected their idyllic plan. If they had their way, by now I'd be married to some unlucky girl from a powerful family. We'd live in luxurious despair, luxurious despair. each other as I waited to take my father's place in the magisterium. Yeah, yeah. I declined the honor, and thus it's best I'm far Shh, from home. Chair, quiet. Less of an embarrassment that way, you see. Um. What do you mean by generations of careful breeding? They refine traits, weed out the undesirable, and promote the rest. My mother was chosen for my father because magic runs strongly in her blood. Never mind that they loathed each other. They wanted a son who could become Archon to make House Parvis the envy of the Imperium. That seems so tiring. They got me. A cautionary tale that you should be careful what you wish for. Perfect in every way, except for the fact that he has a mind of his own. Getting the impression that you don't care much for your homeland. On the contrary, I care for my homeland a great deal. There's so much potential. Uh, yeah, it's Sadly, the way it is, you know. We squander it. We refuse to acknowledge how far we've fallen because pretending is easier. We pretend the Canari can be beaten. We pretend that we're superior to everyone, even our own people. Not everyone feels that way. I don't. Sadly, with a minority. It's hard to be like 
Well, why every surely not every only it's like a, a vocal mi- minority that that says that. But I guess if you grow up with that propaganda, like you're gonna be kind of inclined to think that way. Which is why when people like Dorian pop up, it's very interesting because they're surrounded by this propaganda and this way of thinking for their whole lives, and then they kind of develop their own way of thinking, and they're like, "Where did that come from?" You know. But you do like you you can like you can like mess with something and be you you get really angry because you care. You know what I mean? Like if like. You know, like a little kid gets lost. The mom, when they find him, the mom's like, oh, good, I found him. The mom's like, where were you? And that gets all upset and mad because they were really worried because they really care about you, you know, type thing. So that, so that makes sense. It just seems so much of what you say about the Imperium is entirely negative. It might sound that way. For all our faults, my people have many virtues. We are laden with history and culture. Tevinter is where Thedas truly began, remember? We treasure our past and preserve it. You can walk down a side street and find nothing built during the modern ages. And despite appearances, we care deeply about everything. We have no reserve, not in war and not in love. If I truly believed my homeland was beyond all hope, I wouldn't miss it so much. I feel like this would be interesting for Talon because... He definitely cares deeply about things, but he doesn't show it very much. And he tends to be stoic and, like, you know, occasionally cracking a joke or something. But, but like, Dorian is, like, the exact opposite of him. I didn't really realize that. Like, but they both are similar in that they care deeply about things. But for their own, like, like he, like... And Dorian cares deeply about his people, and so does Talon. Talon cares a lot about his people. Um... And they're both trying to protect their people, you know? It's interesting, though, to, like, put an elf and a Tevinter mage in, like, the same area. Because, some like, like Solas. When Solas is interacting with Dorian, like, they had a lot of interactions in my last game. And, and call oh, dang, Dorian was trying to make friends, and Solas would have none of it. Why remain with the Inquisition? Why not go back to Tevinter? <laughs> I'm not exactly welcome back home. Not that it matters. I'm quite accustomed to being a pariah. That's to my charm. <laughs> I love you! I can do more for Devinter here. If the Venatori succeed, it'll set my homeland back a thousand years. I'm sure some Magisters would disagree. But that's why we killed them. Indeed. I think I've heard enough. That's too bad. I never tire of talking about myself. I never tire of talking to you, Dorian. I'd like to ask you about Tevinter. Ah, yes. Everyone outside the Imperium always seems quite fascinated by it. Probably why they come up with so many ridiculous tales. Flying cows over Minrathus. <laughs> Madness. All right, that one's actually true. The cows didn't have wings. <laughs> Anything in particular you wanted to know? Exactly. Oh. Right. I can do, uh... Cool. This is cool. I do. I think I have a point. I need to go spend that. Uh, yeah. Corypheus is a figure out of Tevinter history. He was a magister. Yes, but that was a different time. The Imperium's power was at its peak then. The Civil War had ended. The Magisterium was united, its armies scooping up bits of Thedas like candy. The Magisters who entered the Black City. It was a demonstration of how exceptional Tevinter had become. But who were they? No one knows. There's no record of a magister named Corypheus. All this happened 1,400 years ago, before the Black nearly wiped us out. 1,400. There are no records. Today, people half believe it's all just a story. And that's what I believe. We have evidence the story is very much real. But not who Corypheus is. If he even remembers. That's true. There used to be families who claimed some of those magisters as their own. Ooh. That stopped when the Chantry appeared. Yeah. Then it was shameful. And the families distanced themselves from the tale. All we know is that some men and women entered the Black City looking for the old gods. Women, too. I didn't realize men and find? women. According to Corypheus, nothing. And only he could tell us more. Well, if he's alive, where are the other ones? Whoa! Um, okay. There's an Imperial Chantry, isn't there? With its own divine. Aren't supposed to talk about the Black Divine, are you? I'm not from the Chantry. The Imperium, people make that face. 
like you're urinating in public. How long have you been in yes. the South, Dorian? You do have the Chantry, or a version of it. Night and day, comparing it to yours. Uh... Is the Imperial Chantry so different from ours? Not in theory. The main difference is in the whole magic is meant to serve man, not rule over him business. I feel like Dorian has Back one of the home, longest conversations, I think. ...is serving them for the good of the Imperium. Perhaps it started with good intentions, but these days it's academic. The circles are in command. There are circles of magi in the Imperium. We don't have dismal little mage prisons, if that's what you mean. They're academies, prestigious ones. We have Templars as well, but they don't cancel spells or whatever your Templars do. They're soldiers. They watch for abuse of magic, yes, but only those who are weak or who fall out of favor get dealt with. Mostly, they enforce the Magisterium's edicts. The Chantry smiles and nods from the sidelines. Ah, I see. Do you consider yourself Andrastian? Ah. The big question. It might surprise you that I do consider myself Andrastian. I simply do not believe in the Chantry. It is a relic, whether back home or here in the South. Ah. Something from a bygone age desperately clinging to relics. So you would keep the Andrastian. It's not an that makes me popular. Mm. I think I would say I agree with you. I share your opinion, actually. That's not surprising, considering what the Inquisition represents. I'll say this. I may not believe in the Chantry, but I believe in you. Well, really? In me. That the Maker sent to you, whether through Andraste or Faith. Wow. Cassandra is not wrong. I don't remember this. You are what we needed most uh. at the moment we needed it. That's what they will say in ages to come. Uh. I don't know. I'm not sure about that myself. Doubt is good. I like doubt. It will keep you sane. I love it when he says that. I've seen too much to believe I know everything. Exactly. The world is bigger than I. Even bigger than you. It laughs at all the things we think we know. Dorian is very wise. The maker wise. doesn't need me to believe. But I do. The thought of no one at all watching out for us is too frightening. So the thing is, like, Dorian may seem flippant and shallow or whatever people might think he is, but... He thinks deeply about a lot of things, and the fact that he is religious and stuff is is interesting. But it means that he he does he cares deeply about these things, about people, and about life in general. He's full full life. Dorian is. Do you really call him the Black Divine? <laughs> we don't call him that. Oh no, in the Imperium, he's the True Divine. The woman sitting on the Sunburst throne is some backwater pretender. It all stems from a disagreement over Andraste. I'm interested that Tevinter does have Andrasteism because they, I thought they didn't like her, you know? Why would they disagree over Andraste? It's not my field of expertise, but the Imperium believes Andraste was a mortal woman, a maid. Yeah. Down south, they say, no, she's the bride of the Maker, ascended to his side, divine provenance, a blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I feel better believing Andreste was one of us. Makes executing her less damage. I think she was a person. So we elected a man as divine, the South declared war, and we've been feuding cousins ever since. Cute. So the Imperial Divine is always a man. All the better to distinguish him from that other one, yes. Don't think there aren't a number of female magisters who bristle at that. Why can't they be divine after all? Same reason you never see a man on the sunburst throne. Because that's how it's always been done. Excellent reasoning. Yeah. Let me ask you something else. So many questions. Just to be like, you know, oh, hey, we're separate from the other one seems like a bad reason to, uh, you know, do anything, really. It seems strange that an entire empire would be ruled by mages. I find it strange that your mages don't rule anything at all. It's true. Actually, the fiction in the Imperium is that mages don't rule. The Magisterium rules. That magisters are all mages is considered a convenient technicality. Is there more mages in the Imperium, or is it just 
They just happen, like, this the breeding thing, I guess. They just happen to breed each other that way. Good golly, holy oxen free. What is the magisterium exactly? The upper house of the Imperial Senate. Imperial. And the only part worth having a seat on. Those seats are split among the circles of Magi, the Chantry, and the Major families. All Magi. You're in the now. dark, Dorian. I can't see you very <laughs> it's well. It's odd that outside the Imperium, you use Magister like it applies to every Tevinter Mage. If you're not a Magister, then what are you called? No special title? I'm an Altus, which is almost as good as a Magister, depending on who you ask. I've never heard of an Altus. Upper class. Those families who trace descent from the Dreamers, the first prophets of the old gods. Oh! If you're a mage and you're not Altus, then you're later, lower class. If you're not a mage at all, you're Soterati. That's everyone else. <laughs> we do love our fancy words. We do love our I fancy words. I thought the Archon words. ruled over the Imperium. Well, yes. Technically, he can overrule laws passed by the Magisterium, but that never happens. Even so, he gets to appoint new magisters, which means all the families buy madly for his favor. Thus, the Archon gets invited to all the parties. The truest path to Tevinter influence, let me tell you. <laughs> if it's a fiction, that means mages do rule then. Yes and no. Let me put it this way. Mages do rule, but not all mages are equal. Right. If you're not from the right family, chances are you don't rule anything. Maybe you're even a slave. The idea that anyone could be a mage, however, keeps the masses placated. Can anyone be a mage? Technically. The potential runs mostly in ah, the here we go. but it's been known to happen. More importantly, commoners believe it can. Tevinter legend is chock full of mage heroes from humble origins. So they hold out hope. Someday my son or my son's son will be a mage. Someday. Poor swords don't realize that means he'll be a Quaestor at the arse end of the Hundred Pillars, at best. Being a Quaestor isn't a good thing. I imagine the average non-mage likes to think so. Counting back. numbers and oh, hey, let's see. papers all day is I can do my back too. After all. <laughs> if you're a second-class citizen among a pack of piranha, however, your outlook changes. Let me ask you something else. Of course. I am listening. I'm wondering if the Imperium would be a useful ally. I think you'd be more concerned whether or not they'd support the Venatori. They won't, of course. At least, not officially. They'll disavow all knowledge of dangerous cultists. Secretly, many Magisters will rejoice at the idea. Of course. And if the South falls to chaos in the meantime... It just seems so weird that they would better. wish for that, you know? Yeah. It would be in the Imperium's best interest to help. Surely it could use allies. I think the Imperium gave up on the idea of allies a long time ago. Nah. We've been fighting the Canari for what? 200 years off and on? It's a point of pride that we go it alone. They'll sneer at the South behind their silk handkerchiefs and say, you've had it easy for far too long. Let's not forget that the Inquisition seems to be an arm of the Orlesian Chantry. Anathema so far as they're concerned. Yeah, but yeah, the Chantry doesn't even like us. We're not part of the Chantry. The Chantry opposed the Inquisition's formation. You think that matters? Don't be silly. The Herald of Andras. You and Vivian need to Your get along. Yeah, I need to bring you and Vivian Chantry. out. You may as well be a heathen. I think they're far more frightened what you'll do if you succeed. I'm making a list of people whose conversations I've had pretty in total and whose conversations I want. Like in the field, Solus and Blackwall had a good relationship. I had Cole and Solus, but I do want to kind of bring Cole and Solus a little bit more this time too, and see if I can get anything else. I had Blackwall and Sarah, and Blackwall and Dorian too, actually pretty good. Anyone but everybody else is free game. Mentioned slavery. It's the center of the slave trade. Ah, that is true. And did you have slaves? Not personally, but my family does and treats them well. Honestly, I never thought much about it until I came south. Back home, it's... how it is. Slaves are everywhere. You don't question it. I'm not even certain many slaves do. Uh... Well, we don't have slaves in the south. 
In the south, you have yeah. aliens, slums, both human and elven. The desperate have no way out. Back home, a poor man can sell himself. As a slave, he could have a position of respect, comfort, and could even support a family. Some slaves are treated poorly, it's true. But do you honestly think inescapable poverty is better? This actually... It kind of blew my mind the first time around. I was like, well, because you want to be like, no, slavery is bad, but it really, like, would you rather be a slave who could support a family and even have, like, a, a, a position of respect, maybe, perhaps, rather than just being a poor... But then again, it's like, a poor person could maybe try to work their way out of things, you know, pull yourself up by your bootstraps, American Dream, all that. That's like, you know, the theory, but like we've talk, talked about in a lot of English classes and philosophy classes, like the American Dream is dead, it's not actually a thing, you know, like like the idea that is nice, but it's 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 a it's a story that we just tell each other to keep each other comfortable in the long cold nights or something like that. You know, it's a very depressing pessimistic outlook, but but I can see where he's coming from for sure, like you know, he's like you. A poor person could maybe try to do something, but if they're beset on each side, like there's, there how are they, how they don't know how to do it. You know, it's one thing to just say just do it, but it's like just do what? Like, like do, get myself killed? You know, type thing. Like I don't know. I suppose not. No, I don't know what it's like to be a slave. True, I never thought about it until I saw how different it was. It's like here. baby servants. But you I know. Suspect you don't know either. Nor should you believe that every tale of Tevinter excess is the norm. Let me ask about blood magic now. How ha. often is blood magic used there? Oh, not at all. Not at all. That's what any magister would tell you. They'd be convincingly offended by the notion too. Of course. Of course. I think my face is a little weird. It's not moving much. What we consider blood magic are two different things. Uh, yeah. What's considered actual blood magic in Tevinter? Blood magic isn't inherently. Using your own blood or that of a willing party. It's true. What's the harm? True, true. The problem is that what's permitted only yep. gets you so much power. And that's where you fall into trouble. What if you need more? You always need more. That's where we get into sacrifices and demon summoning. None of that is done. So demon Not summoning efficient. can be done effectively, though, doors, without being, story. you know, destroying everything. Real blood magic can give you an edge, what? a leg up against your opponents. It's safe to assume that any mage of rank does it. The rest are quietly shut out of power, to put it bluntly. You'd think the Templars would We're almost would there. Object. We're almost there. I imagine they did, long ago. Once, their investigations might have been sincere. Then their balls were cut off. <clears throat> Too inconvenient. Nowadays, only the friendless are accused. And most of them probably innocent. Dorian, your, your mustache is glowing. There must be some mages who oppose this. Of course. I Dorian know. does. And I'm not entirely alone. Occasionally, there'll be a magister who makes noise. And then the reform talk begins. All very patriotic. Meanwhile, that magister will be quietly shunned. Chances are, surprise, it's learned he was a Maleficar. Oh, no. Most learn to keep quiet. Me? <laughs> I enjoy the allure. Sometimes I can't tell if he's just telling himself that or if he actually does, but I think he does actually think it adds to his charm. And it's kind of, it does. <laughs> That's all I wanted to know. Fair enough. I should go. Naturally. Naturally. Wow, we just got a bunch of stuff. All right, so there's Dorian. Maybe he's not showing up because I can't, can I? Yeah, I can take him out now. No, because he is, he is part of it now. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to call this one here. I know there was a split in the middle, but this is probably still a really long episode. Um, thank you all for joining me. I'm glad we're able to find Dorian. I think these two are going to get along. Um, but we still, Talon, I think, still kind of has to warm up to him, regardless of that, you know, flirty option thing. <laughs> but, uh, well, we'll see how it goes. So, uh, thanks again for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.